welcome to the video in this video we will we will be looking at sales order pricing at item level so let's get started so we will go to the va02 sales order so it is just showing a subsequent document meaning there's delivery or invoice created against that so how to go to the item level condition so we can go to the from here item and condition tab or i can double click on any line item and it will take us to the condition tab so here we have uh, some pricing related tab in the sales order item level and uh, here is a condition type which is manual condition type how do i know because this allow me to update the pricing for example i can update the pricing with manually 250 from 240 it is allowing me that so if i press enter it will update that pricing you can see net price is reflected up here but you don't want to do that when you have delivery created because that can reflect in uh, subsequent document might have different pricing in there so so let's take a look at the function so update button is here with this it will pop open the <coughs> new pricing you can carry out new pricing update the pricing for example carry out new pricing with b if i double click it will bring out the new condition types redetermine freight cost so there are different types of option available with the update button so so that is one option up here analysis let's take a look at it if i click there i can see what kind of condition types are there for example pr00 there is an arrow button up here click up here it is showing that condition record coming from this display pricing condition record so that is a master data that is set up in the system that bringing the price from there so and other condition types are there as well we can see so that is uh, so see analysis and condition record if i click on this it is asking that select what kind of condition type i want to see a condition record so i select this and see condition record. so again that bringing me to the same place where i see the condition record from analysis go to the condition record from both places so basically this is a high level of item level pricing how do we use these three main functions thank you very much